guys and welcome to episode 5.5 of Training the Team of Season Hazard and this is going to be another bonus episode in which I'm going to show you how to pick up some deals instead of showing you what deals I picked up and what I uh, sell them on for. So in this episode I'm going to take a look at the expensive informs so that are uh, the informs that are worth over 50,000 coins. Now I do want to say that this method has been reviewed a lot before on YouTube so don't uh, please don't accuse me of copying anyone because it's just the method I use and you guys wanted to see uh, how I do it so uh, I'm gonna show you anyway uh, so let's get into it let's get into the auction search right here and uh, what you want to search for is a level of gold since we're gonna trade with gold informs and we're gonna set the minimum and the maximum price to um, the minimum is gonna be 50,000 coins because uh, you know we're looking at, at uh, informs that are worth over 50,000 and uh, we're gonna set the maximum to whatever amount of coins we have so I currently have 173,000 coins roughly so that's what we're gonna set our maximum to we're not going to do anything with the Binance. We're just going to leave them at any. So uh, I'm going to go up to 173k right now. Okay, we're going to search that up. And we're going to uh, flick through the pages. And we're only going to look at... at Inform players, so we're not gonna look at regular gold players because uh, there are just too many people uh, watching those cards, and therefore there will probably not be a deal on one of them, or at least uh, not a really good deal. At least that's what I found um, from my own experiences. Anyway, we keep scrolling through and uh, trying to find a deal and what I'm looking for is players that already have a current bid on them so uh, I'm not just looking for every player but only the players that have a bid on them and as soon as I find one we're gonna check its price and see if it's a deal for now we haven't found anything yet uh, there we go uh, team of season man Zukic 151k bid so what we do is we add it to our watch list go back to the auction search reset all of it and we're just gonna filter out his details so uh, in this case we have got a striker from Croatia playing in the Bundesliga for FC Bayern uh, there we go then we'll check the cheapest buy now of Mandzukic now I do know that he has an inform card so to filter uh, the inform card and the regular art we'll just set the minimum to something like um 50k roughly there we go just keep flicking through now 172 um, let's see if there's anything cheaper than that 167 right there um, okay so roughly if we were to pick up this deal we could sell it on for roughly 165,000 coins to be cheapest on the market and here we've got a bit of 159,000 coins now what you do need to keep in mind for those players is the EA tax there's always a 5% tax when you sell a player on this means that if you sell on a player for 100,000 coins you will only get 95,000 coins back so if I were to sell this man Zukichon for 165 k i would roughly get um about 158 something like 7k would be taken away maybe even 8k so we only get 157 back so that means that if i bid on this manzukic i would actually make a loss and that's of course not what we want so therefore we'll just remove it off our watch list and move on to the next deal because not every deal we'll find will be a good deal and we'll be able to pick it up because we could get outbid for example if it was a good deal and um what I would advise you guys is to always set a maximum for yourself. So, for example, this man Zukic, uh, I could have sold him off for 165,000. Would have got roughly 158k back if I were to sell him. So, I would set myself a, uh, a maximum uh, of like 150,000 to bid on. Because if I pick it up for 150,000, I would make about 8k profit, which is pretty decent in my eyes. And that is a good profit indeed. So, uh, always set this maximum for yourself. So, you can never uh, go above that maximum. And therefore, uh, you will never lose any coins on players. So, we'll keep flicking through here. Uh, here we got a Lucas already. Let me just check that. This is left wing. Let's see if that is a deal. Let's quickly filter him out. Uh, Liga do Brasil. Sao Paulo. And I don't think he has another card. There we go. 109k, 106k. And what did we have him in our watch list? It was for 101k. Now, if we were to sell him all for 105k, we could only get roughly... 
uh, 99k back so again we would make a loss if we were to pick up this deal so therefore I'm gonna remove it off my watch list again and that means we didn't find any good deals in this episode but I do hope uh, you guys catch my drift and know what I'm on about and I do hope you guys can uh, use this technique for yourself to get some profit and uh, yeah that's been it for today guys so if you found this method helpful this tutorial and uh, if you're gonna use it yourself or either you like the video then make sure to hit that like button because that really helps me out uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you're new around here check out some of my other videos as well and without further ado i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video so peace